Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to insert animated images into the background of your Jamboard. In a recent video, I showed you the latest update to Jamboard, which allows you to insert a custom image as a background in your Jam. Since then, I've had several teachers show me really creative ways of using this in their classrooms. And while working with a teacher recently, she wanted to insert an animated image, so I thought I would show you a couple different ways to do that. Now this particular teacher was taking one of the templates she found on Canva, which by the way, if you don't know, canva.com is a free site. I know a lot of teachers find great templates from there. They have some really cool customizable backgrounds that you could use for your jam boards. So this is one that I know has been popular with a lot of the teachers I've been working with. And what's great about Canva is that you can customize every single aspect of this. So you can change the text in here, or you can remove some of these objects. You can change the category names, uh, as well as having the students work right in here. But for our purposes today, we're just going to use this as our template. And then I'm going to show you how to insert an animated image. So let's find an image that we want to use. So I did a quick search. I did animated GIF arrow. Yes, there is a debate whether it's GIF or GIF. I am in the GIF school. So let's just find an arrow that we could use. Let's select this one. And by the way, while you're doing your search, if you want one that has a transparent background, if you go to tools and then color, if you do transparent, you'll only get arrows or whatever animated object you're looking for that has a transparent background. So let's take this and we're gonna have to save this to our desktop or to our Google Drive. And now in Canva, if you go to uploads, you can upload media from device. And so now you can see I had the dancing banana for a project I was doing with my students. Um, and this is the arrow that we just added. So let's click on that. And you'll notice it goes right into our organizer here. So I'm going to resize this. And you can rotate it as well. So now if I want to try to draw the student's attention to category one, let's say, I can put this here. Let's delete that. Let's delete that. And now if I want to put this in my Jamboard, all I have to do is download file type and you're going to want to do gif so you're going to want to do gif or gif download and then it's saved so let's go into our jam let's set background go to image you can upload by browsing i'm just going to click and drag sometimes it does take a minute or two to load and then you'll notice that we've got our animation in the background so the students without changing the background, won't be able to move any of these categories or the arrow. And while we're talking about Canva, I do want to show you, if you go into templates, there are a lot of great worksheets and you can actually save these and insert them as backgrounds into your jam boards so that the students can work right over the top of these. So it's worth taking a look through and browsing because you might find some really great things in here. Now, it's possible that you might find an image that you want to combine with an animated picture. And I love the tool online-image-editor.com. This is a free-to-use tool that's very user-friendly and very intuitive. So I'm going to show you how to combine two different images that you can use as your background. So I just did a quick search for a graphic organizer. Let's take this one here. So I'm going to right-click, save this image. And I'm going to click upload an image. So now I've got my graphic organizer in my workspace. So to add an animated image, I'll just go to advanced image overlay and then choose your file that you'd like to add. So I just selected the arrow from my desktop. I'll select upload. And then you can move this around, but just by clicking and dragging, you can resize it over where it says resize frame. You can also rotate it. So if you didn't want it facing the, the direction that it came in, you can do that. We'll just leave it this way. And then we're just going to have it pointing at this box and then click apply. 
Now, if we want to export that, all we have to do is go to save, save image local. And then we saved it as a GIF file. And now we'll come back to Jamboard. Let's go to our next frame. We'll set background. We'll go to image. I selected the new organizer that we just created. And now you'll see the arrow is moving and the students again won't be able to move it. So whether you want to use animated images to draw your students' attention to something, or you just want to use animated images to bring your jams to life, there are endless possibilities of the way that you can use animated images as backgrounds in your jam boards. So I absolutely love this. I think it's a really great way to take your jam boards and make them more fun and engaging. And as I mentioned, there are several different ways that you can create animated images. I just tried to show you a couple ways that I thought were easy to follow so that hopefully you'll be inspired by this video and you can start using this in your classes tomorrow. Now in the description of this video, you'll find several other Jamboard tutorials and videos. So please take a second to go through those. And if you know of any teachers that could benefit from watching those videos or this one, please feel free to share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the EdTech Show, please take a second Click on that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. If you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash The Ed Tech Show. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.